In this video, we're going to look at ionic bonds. In order to form an ionic bond, an atom with a positive charge needs to be close to an atom with a negative charge. For lysine, arginine, and histidine, the positive charge is on the nitrogen. For glutamic and aspartic acid, the oxygen has the negative charge. Now we're going to look at our protein and we're going to show all the atoms in the residue and we're going to color by charge. When I open the color key, I can see that amino acids that are likely to have a negative charge appear red, amino acids that are likely to have a positive charge appear blue. This same coloring scheme is shown in the amino acid sequence below the structure. Now I'm going to find cases where the side chains from these oppositely charged amino acids are close to each other. So I turn the structure around. After a bit of hunting, I can find a case where it looks like there's a histidine with a positive charge near an amino acid with a negative charge. So I'm going to investigate this a little bit further. I touch the H to highlight the histidine. And I could tell it's a histidine because of its distinctive shape. And now I'm going to look to figure out what the negatively charged amino acid is. So I touch each one of the negatively charged amino acids in the sequence to highlight and deselect those amino acids until I find the one that's near the histidine. Now that I've found the amino acid that might be interacting, I'm going to look at these a little bit closer. I want to confirm that the residues that would be charged, the atoms that would be charged, are actually near each other. So I change the drawing style to space fill, and I change the coloring style to element, and I hide everything else so I can look at these really close. And I can see that the negatively charged amino acid has two oxygens, one which could be a negative charge, near the nitrogen from the histidine. I also touch the positions to see the chain positions for each of these charged amino acids. 